I'm videotaping myself in my bathroom because I just want to make sure I'm okay. I want to document what's happening in my life right now. My name is Cynthia Holloway. For anyone that wants to view this video for educational reasons or to help themselves um, later on in life, I cannot continue to look at the camera because the flash is on and it's in my eyes. But anyway, um, back to what I was saying. Um, if, if, if you are looking to detox your body, if you are looking to clean out all the toxic, toxicity in your body, then maybe this video is for you. Um, I'm 40 years old, I'm married, I have two kids, and I just recently, my husband and I went vegan a couple of months ago. And I won't get into what's going on with my husband because it's a really long drawn out story, but basically I went on this vegan diet with him to help him with his situation. And uh, we have a friend, Deb, that was helping us with um, uh, detox. And so she's a detoxification regenerate specialist. So um, she introduced us to a doctor in Florida. His name is Dr. Robert Morse. He is on YouTube. He has videos on YouTube for free. And he is a holistic doctor. He's a biochemist. He's a physicist. He believes in nothing but natural healing. And he's basically, um, in a nutshell, studied the body to a point where he's figured out what's wrong with people nowadays. And I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole because I'm just documenting what's happening with me right now. But that is basically where we are at. We are working with our specialist friend Deb uh, daily on our detox. We are taking the Dr. Robert Morris Detox Kit number one. We are drinking the Heal All Tea, and before I started taking the kit, my husband was taking the kit, and it is tinctures and capsules of natural botanicals and herbs to help your body detox, okay? So, something happened to me while my husband was detoxing, and this has never happened to me before, but I'm trying to go all natural with everything in my life, so I switched deodorants to an all natural deodorant. And I noticed the natural deodorant was very thick and it had a little bit of grit to it. And so I have been using Dove um, for a long time. I've used other uh, deodorants in the past, but I've used Dove at least 15 years, if not longer. Dove deodorant that you can just buy anywhere. And it's an antiperspirant. It's a white cream, you know, stick, whatever. Um, and I used it every day because I sweat a lot and I have body odor and I was just taught that good hygiene, you use deodorant so you don't stink. But what I didn't realize was that antiperspirant deodorant stick has clogged up my pores. It's probably, not probably, more than likely it's gotten in my lymph nodes, clogged those up. So I have lymph stagnation in my armpits. And... At the tail end of my husband's detox, about a week or so ago, I changed the deodorants and I used the new one twice. And then I noticed my armpit was itching. So I scratched it. And then it kept itching. And I was like, what's going on? So I look in the mirror and I've got this streak going right down the, the crease of the armpit. And it was a red streak about that, you know, it was about that. And like the size of my finger. And it was red, and it was chafed, and I thought, oh, God, you know, my armpit's chafed. So I didn't use anything for a couple days. Well, then I shaved. <laughs> and uh, after that, when the hair started growing back, I started getting ingrown hairs in this armpit. And I don't know if you can tell, but I can't put my arms down right now. I feel like that kid on A Christmas Story where he's like, I can't put my arms down. That's what I feel like right now. My armpits are so swollen, I'm about to show them to you. It's insane. This has never happened to me before, but I know that I know that I know of every ounce of my being. This is my ingrown hairs in my armpits turned into boils, and the boils are just out of control. And they're draining, and they're swelling, and they're 
disgusting and they're smelling and it's painful and I've never been through anything like this in my entire life but I know that I know that this is what's happening because of all the years that I was plugging up my pores with that deodorant stick both armpits every day or almost every day for 20 years 15 to 20 years well 25 really because I had started at puberty but I know I used Dove for at least 15 years and so now I can't put my arms down. My arms are so swollen and red and infected. So if you're squeamish, do not watch this part of the video. I'm going to show you this one first because I only have one in this one. And then I'm going to show you this one that's really bad. This is my right side. Okay. And I'm right handed. And I haven't been able to shave. But I'm going to try to get a little closer to the camera. See if I can. Okay. So I think you can see it. I don't know. I'm blind from looking at that flashlight. But um, on the top, you'll see there's a red. I don't know if I'm in the. Hold on. Let me check the camera. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So if you can see right there, there is a red boil. And it's it has already busted. Okay. Oops. Wait. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I'm getting it straight. Okay, it has already come to a head and busted, and now it's coming to a head again and busting again. So I'm raw over here, okay? And it fucking hurts. Excuse my language. This is my right side. I mean my left side, I'm sorry. This is my left. And it's so swollen, and it's so impacted. Oh, I'm going to have to pick up the camera. I can't raise my arm. Oh. Oh God, can you see that? The one on top has got 16 tiny little pin size heads on it. I counted them. The one in the middle was the first one to, to pop and drain. And the one on the bottom, uh, it, it drained and it took three days for that one to drain. And then I've got some that are coming back the one on top that's really big, that one has not come to, I mean, it's come to little pinheads, but it, it has not, it has not come out yet. It has not drained. And the one on the bottom drained for three days. I mean, guys, this is what anti-perspirant deodorant, over-the-counter deodorant does to your skin. This is what, not your skin, this is what it does inside your body. This is infection coming out of my armpits. And, you know, the thing about it is, look at the sweat on my hand. Look at that. It's dripping. Look at my hands. I can't stop sweating. Both my hands are like that. They're both sweaty. Now, I've been doing this video. You know I did not start out with wet, drippy hands, okay? But this is just since I've been doing the video. I can't hardly do anything because my hands are so sweaty all the time. My muscles in here, my muscles back here, the side of my breast and the back of my arm is so sore from holding up my arm because I can't put it down. It hurts to put it down. I can't explain the pain. When this one down on the bottom was draining, when it was coming to a head actually, no, this was before it drained, when it was coming to a head, I could feel feel it pushing through the flesh and it was so painful that I literally was crying and like I can't even explain to you I was just there was no position I could get in that was comfortable there was nothing that could aid me and it was horrible um so I'm 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 learning to embrace the process of detox I'm learning with my friend Deb my guidance. She's my friend. She's there for me. I'm so grateful. And we're doing this together. She's already been down this road. And she has an astounding testimony. Um, so now it's mine and my husband's turn. And uh, he's 70 and I'm 40. And he's had two strokes. So that's what started all of this. But I just wanted to take this video to show everyone where I'm at right now. And I mean, my upper lip is sweating. Like I'm, 
I'm sweating so bad that I have to, I'm probably going to end up having to shower twice a day. And she was telling me on the phone earlier that I need to get outside. I need to sweat as much as I can and just, because your, your skin is an eliminating organ. And so the more you sweat, the more toxicity comes out of your body and the more infection comes out and all that bad bacteria and stuff. So I'm, what I'm doing for this right now, I just want to show everybody what I have done. Um, this is my bathroom counter. This is what it looks like because I have tried almost everything under the sun to help me with this, to help bring these things to a head and, and drain them. And there's even more hardness underneath what you saw that was red. So I know this is just the beginning. Like I have so much more that's going to come out. But I used um, hydrogen peroxide. Okay. That helped with... Um, infection. The first thing I tried was witch hazel. Okay. Great organic, but it did not help me in this situation. Now I'm sure there's a lot of things you can use this for, and I'm really glad that I have it, but in my situation, it didn't work. It may in yours. It's all natural. Um, I did not try this. I bought this for something else. So this is not part of that. Yeah. Look, James's degree trash because I don't want what happened to me to happen to my husband. This is absolutely horrible. Okay, so I didn't try any of that. Um, I tried this. It's called Dermaplast First Aid Spray. It was more aerosol than it was medicine and um, it didn't help either. I tried Vaseline. All this does is clog you up more. Didn't work. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to go the natural route. I tried coconut oil. It burned. I tried, where's that stuff? Where's that other stuff? Dang it. Where is that other bottle? I just had it. It was a little tiny bottle of castor oil, and now it's missing. Ha! Huh. Sorry. I don't, um... Thought I had everything I needed, but apparently I didn't. I had a little bottle here of castor oil. I don't know what I did with it, but um, that didn't help either. It burned as well. This is the only thing that's working for me. Can you see that? That is called Dr. Robert Morris's Heal All Tea. It is one teaspoon of herbal tea with two, two cups of boiling water. And you use distilled water. See the, the tea in the bottom? And so what I do is I take this jar and these paper towels. And I tear these in half. And I douse them with the tea over the sink. And then I, I, and I have them folded already. And I put them up under my armpits. But yeah, look. I can barely. Look at that. Look at that. That freaking hurts, y'all. That hurts. And it has changed the shape of my... Let's see if I can get it in there. It has changed the shape of my armpit. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. That's how that's how much that one on top is protruding. Can you see it again against the wall? See that bump on my arm? That's it. And it's freaking, you guys, I'm not kidding. It's freaking huge. Like, it looks small from far away. I can't seem to get the camera angle just right. But look at that. Like, it changed the shape of my armpit. And that's why I can't, uh, I can't put my arm down. So, I know this video wasn't professional. Um, I don't claim to be <laughs> a professional video person. Um, another thing that I'm using, you guys, is, um, is lemon. And I know people are like, what the hell is she thinking? <laughs> no, lemon, um, what I do is I take a shower in the morning, and after my shower, I rub this very gently on both armpits. And it, and it does get a little sticky, and but it smells great. And it did burn the first time, the second time it did not burn. Um, and I also wrote my initials on it because my husband, we're using this as deodorant now. Lemon is like the perfect deodorant. Deb taught me that. And so this is James's because it's got his initials on it. So I just keep those by the sink and, you know, you can use them for several days cut in half like that. 
Um, so lemon squeezed under the arm after a shower. I'm using um, natural bar soap. I'm not using body wash or anything with chemicals in it. Um, I'm um, using, uh, I'm alternating hot and cold. So I'm taking a towel, putting it over a heating pad, and sticking it up under my arm for as long as I can stand it. And I take it out and I put it under this arm and I do the heating pad under both arms. And then later on, maybe a couple hours later, I'll do ice. And I'll put them in a quart size bag, put some ice cubes, leave air in it like a pillow, wrap it with a towel, stick it up under my arm, and it, it feels great. The ice feels great, the heat feels great, and the heat is um, expanding, and then the, the ice contracts. So it's actually doing this, and it's helping push the infection out. Um, a lot of people would panic if they saw something like this, and they'd run to the emergency room. I can tell you right now, I'm not going to do that, because all they're going to do is tell me I need to be on antibiotics and they're going to offer to lance it or see if they need to lance it and they're going to test my blood and all that stuff. Here's the thing about that. Antibiotics are not what you want to take when you have an infection because they stop the body from doing what it's trying to do. The body is naturally, i got to put my arm down, the body is naturally trying to get rid of this toxicity, this poison, this infection. And if it can't get rid of it, because you're taking an antibiotic and you're stopping it, the process in its tracks, then you're just going to have to deal with it down the road. You know, you're just, you're still going to have to deal with it eventually. You're just suppressing it from, from the process of elimination. So basically, an antibiotic, and I don't know if people know this or not, I know a lot of people, you know, take antibiotics like all the time. Like some people take them every year when they get sick or whatever. But antibiotic anti means against and biotic means life so you tell me the word itself means against life antibiotic against life why would you take something that is called against life it yes it kills the bad bacteria but it also kills the good bacteria and you got to have the good bacteria to get rid of stuff like this they kill all the bacteria, you're not going to be able to get rid of this. It's just going to go back into your lymph nodes. It's going to stag stagnation, and it, you're just going to have some other symptom come up from it, you know. So, um, but yeah, look at that. I can't even put my arms down. Mm, I don't know, but I'm trusting the process because, number one, it's natural. And I trust natural. I trust natural medicine. I trust natural food. James and I are eating, um, I'd say 80% uh, plant-based. Well, no, 90% plant-based. No, no, 95% <laughs> plant-based. And every now and then we have uh, a bread like or a wrap or we'll have um, crackers or we'll have, you know, whatever. But it's organic or it's all natural. Um, we don't, we try not, we're weaning ourselves um we, well, we pretty much completely weaned ourselves off of dairy. We really don't eat cheese anymore. Um, we don't drink sodas. We drink distilled water, filtered water, Dr. Morris's tea, coconut water, um, any kind of uh, pure, uh, all, all natural uh, veggie or juice. Um, veggie juice or fruit juice is what I was trying to say. Um, so, and, it, and, it, and, and, you know, instead of coffee, we have herbal tea. You know, and there's so many different flavors out there to play with, you know. So it's actually more fun than coffee. And it, and it, and it it's, doesn't have caffeine in it. So you don't get a high from it. You get a relaxing feel from it. You get a peaceful feel from it. And see, coffee always used to make me sweat because it would always, like, you know, it's caffeine. And, and I'm trying to get off of caffeine. And, and, well, not trying. I've completely gotten off of caffeine. Um, completely. We don't drink coffee. We don't drink sodas. We don't drink, um, iced tea. Um, we don't drink anything with caffeine in it. And we don't, we eat very, very little chocolate. That is a treat. And it's usually dark chocolate or sugar-free or something like that. But that is a treat for us. Um, so along with the detox, with the Dr. Morris, um, botanicals and, and tinctures and, uh, um, diet, 
um, this is what's happening because our body's like, finally, you're giving me what I need to live and thrive. So the, the idea of detox is you take these botanicals and herbs and you eat a, a, a raw diet. You eat fruits and vegetables and 80%, 80 to 85% fruit and then maybe a little bit of vegetables because they're full of protein and that's not what you need when you're detoxing. So basically that's what we're doing. And when you, when you give the body what it needs, what it does is it cleans you out like this. It's, it's, this, honestly, I don't know because I haven't had this tested. But this could be cancer coming out of my armpit. This could be cancer. These could be tumors that were in there that are coming out as pus. And let me tell you something, when this one was draining on the bottom, it was literally dripping, people. It was dripping. I couldn't, I had to keep a compress there oh, uh, uh, with this tea on it to, to catch it. It was a uh, light green, yellowish color. Sometimes it had a little bit of blood in there, not much, but it was disgusting. And um, this one didn't smell. This one reeked of body odor. I don't know. Then the next day, this one started smelling like sour milk. And this one didn't smell at all when I started using the lemon. Oh, my God. The first day I used lemon, which was yesterday, put it on my armpits because I'm doing everything that Deb's telling me. She's giving me little, oh, little tips and tricks each day to kind of help me speed things up, you know. She was like, cut the lemon in half, you know, do it under your arms a little bit, put some of the... Um, the, Dr. Morris has a tincture that's called the um, Parasite M, and, and the M stands for microorganism. So that kills the bacteria, you know, in the infection and the bad bacteria. And so it aids you in the process. And she was like, put a little bit of that on there and then, um, you know, take it and then drink the tea and squeeze half a lemon in your tea. So we're doing all of that. But man, this armpit yesterday, after I put that lemon on it, it started stinking like sour milk. I'm not exaggerating. Like, it was the nastiest thing ever. Um, so, while I'm talking, I told James, I forgot I told him I was coming in here to treat my arms, which I am. But I also wanted to take a video of it. So, I know these paper towels are not the best in the world because they've got printed stuff on them. But it's all I have and it's, I'm not going to the store and buying more. So I'm doing it on the opposite side and folding it in half like this. And this tea is not hot. It has been sitting in this jar just at room temperature. And I'm just pouring it. Just I know you can't see that, but it's just a little bit on each side. Okay, not dripping, but just saturated. And then I do like this. Oh my God, it's cold. Oh. And it hurts, but it's okay. I've been taking over-the-counter medica uh, pain medication for the pain, like Aleve and extra strength Tylenol. I've been, uh, oh, I've been alternating those. And if I'm in a lot of pain when I go to bed, I'll take a Tylenol PM. Uh, so that's pretty much everything, uh, people. Oh, one more thing I am doing to help speed up the process is I'm using this. It's um, Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution Balance and Calm with Matcha Green Tea. And I'm putting this in my bath, and I'm taking a bath at least every other day, if not every day. And oh my God, this smells amazing. And I've checked the ingredients and everything's good and it's amazing. I'm just checking it again. Yeah, I'm just making sure. <laughs> but um, yeah, check the ingredients on everything you put on your body or in your body. If you put it on your skin, it's gonna get soaked into your skin, people. Lotion, perfume, deodorant, makeup, hairspray, hair products, body products. I don't care what you're putting on your body right now. If, it, if the ingredients are not all natural, don't do it because you will pay for it later, people. 
It will come up as a cyst. It'll come up as cancer. It'll come up as a disease. Look at Johnson & Johnson. They just got sued because their talcum powder causes cancer. I mean, it's everywhere. It's in everything. It's in the food. It's in the product. It's in in household items and cleaning items. It's, it's, it's everywhere. I've even stopped painting my nails. I don't want that on my nails. I mean, it's toxic. When you walk into a nail salon, does it smell like a botanical garden? Hell no. It smells like a chemical factory because it is. It's full of chemicals, you know, and I know there's a lot of people out there that don't want to hear this and that's fine. You don't have to. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm just sharing what I'm experiencing to help other people, okay? So I'm not doing this to get political or say I'm right or wrong. I'm just doing this because this is my experience and I want to help those that need it. And I'm going to tell you right now, if it hadn't been for Deb and if it hadn't been for Dr. Morris, this would not be happening to me right now and I would not be on the road to Wellville which is what Dr. Morse calls it. And to be honest with you people, I've lost a lot of weight. I started out at 217 pounds. I am now down to, last time I weighed myself, I was 187. And that's only been in two months. So it might not be a whole lot of weight, but I made it under the 200 mark, and I'm happy with that. And I'm, I'm, I'm just, I haven't been under 200 pounds in like um, 10 years. So, yeah, I've, uh, this is the only time in my life I've been that I had gotten that overweight. And um, I'm just so thankful. I'm so grateful that I have the truth to good health and vivation. And, you know, I didn't get to finish saying this, but once your body detoxes all of these toxins and, and poisons out of your body, it starts to regenerate and rebuild. The cells begin to rebuild and you can regrow organs that you've had surgically removed because the body is that amazing. If you eat the right things and you give it the right um, formulas, you, you can't eat a crap diet and expect your body to handle it. It's not going to. You know, God designed us, the universe, whatever you want to call the divine, designed us to coincide with nature and to eat what nature provides and to take botanicals and herbs for when we do get sick and or when we do have like a cut or a wound or something. And because man has come along and just completely raped us of that, they completely lied to us and brainwashed us and told us that Deodorant is good for you because it keeps you from smelling all day. Yeah, they didn't tell me that it was going to clog my pores and get into my lymph nodes and that I was going to have this issue when I was 40 years old. Thank God I'm having it now, but I can't imagine if I'd never had this information. So I've stopped wearing bras. I've stopped using deodorant. I've stopped wearing makeup. I stopped using uh, hair products, and yeah, my hair looks dry and like crap, but that's because this is... This is the outcome of using product, and my hair is fried, you know? It's dry, and it falls out, and my scalp itches, and I have buildup, and it's because of what I'm using and what I'm putting in my body, what I'm putting on the outside and the inside. So through this detox, I'm going to document, you know, not all these videos are going to be this long, but this is just the first one, so... This is it. This is real. This is, I'm not making this up. You people can see. You can see that. Okay. So I'm being very careful though. One more thing I want to say before I get off is when you do, when, if you ever have this problem and you've got to use like something like this, just use it a couple of hours and throw it away because it'll have infection on it. Wash your hands before and after every time. Um, and when you use like bath towels or washcloths, one time use and in the wa washer in hot water and dry them. And so I'm going through a lot of towels, a lot of paper towels, a lot of disposable stuff, wipes. I'm using, I know I probably should be using these, but it's all I got. And I was just kind of cleaning it up, you know, or using a, um, I was using some foam soap over here, you know, just, just to clean it, you know, keep it clean, keep it clean, especially because you're going to be sweating, um, you know, and your body's going to try to eliminate um, so, you know, just stay clean, whatever you do when you have something like this going on, boils, 
ingrown hairs, any kind of cysts or anything like keep the area clean. Don't put anything on it like clothes. That's why I'm in a tank top. I never wear tank tops, ever. But thank God I have a whole collection of them in my closet because they're coming in use now. But, like, I started using tank tops because sleeves were bothering me. It was irritating the skin. So I, I try to just be as gentle as I can, and I change them every day. Every day because I don't want to spread this infection. I've been disinfecting my tub, been disinfecting my sink, Anything, kitchen, anything I've been using for this, doorknobs, wipe them down, disinfect, clean, because um, you don't want this to spread um, to other people or another part of your body. So um, be kind to your body. You only have one. <laughs> and um, love yourself and take care of yourself. And, um, and namaste. And thank you so much for taking the time to share my journey with me.